Proceed to Hamburg, West Germany and rendezvous with Thomas Goodman, an operative from Unity's American branch. Goodman may have information concerning Dr. Schenker's whereabouts. The rendezvous will take place at Das Einsame Valkyrie, a popular beatnik nightclub in Hamburg. You will recognize Agent Goodman by his rugged good looks and the unlit cigarette he is holding in his left hand. Offer him a light. He will answer with, sorry, but I don't smoke. Once you have made contact, you will be under Agent Goodman's command. Follow his orders implicitly. Hmm. How am I going to get in there? I demand to be let in. I'm sorry. That's impossible. But my girlfriend is inside. I understand that, but they can't let you in. Can I at least go find her? Sadly, no. Why not? Because the club is full. Nobody else is allowed. Well, can you go find her for me? I must stay here. Then can you send someone to find her? Everyone is busy. You will just have to wait. I want to speak to someone in charge. As I said, everyone is busy. If you come back tomorrow after 10 a.m., perhaps you can speak with someone then. But my girlfriend is in there now. Perhaps you should have come together. Then you would not be in this situation, and I would not have to listen to you shouting at me. I'm just getting warmed up. It's not my fault that you're out here and she is in there. It is your fault. She is your girlfriend. You should have known better than to ask her to wait for you inside a club that is known to fill up every single night. Can I please just go and find her? I said no and I meant it. Now go away or I will call the police. Schweinhund. Scheiß cough. Is it always as crowded? Yeah. The place fills up every night. People come for the music. Do you think they'll let us in? I doubt it. I have to get in there. Really? Well, let me help you. I'll distract the bouncer so you can climb in through that window. Watch out for the camera, though. Thanks. My pleasure. Have fun. Hey, baby. Wanna dance? I'm always too hello, late to get in. Boy. Well, hello there. It sure is crowded tonight. It usually is. This place is very popular. You must meet a lot of pretty girls. Yes, but rarely do I meet enchanting ones. You're teasing. I do not tease. Promises, promises. I get off in an hour. Then so do I. Your place or mine? Let's start at your place and see where we end up. I like your style. See you soon. I'll count every minute. <laughs> for this evening. Thank you, thank you. Perhaps I will sing for you later. What is so important you need to interrupt me in the middle of a performance? You know how these people treasure my concerts. Now they will lament. Das tut mir leid, Fräulein Wagner. Of course, if they are sad, 
They will buy more drinks to drown their sorrows, which is good for business. But it troubles me to know that someone is unhappy because I was unable to give enough of myself. A gift like mine comes with terrible responsibility, you know. Yeah, and you have so much of yourself to give. Even such pathetic, horrible creatures as these smelly beatniks deserve some sympathy, yeah? Now then, perhaps you will care to remind me why I am talking instead of singing. Valen Wagner, the super spy is here. What should we do? So, the fly has rung the doorbell of the spider. You did the right thing. Let her have a few drinks. Then she goes to the water closet. Grab her and bring her to me. Am I understood? Jawohl. Good. Watch her closely. She is not to leave under any circumstances. It will be done as you have asked. If you succeed, perhaps I will be convinced to sing for you. Would you like that? Very much so, Fräulein Wagner. It would be a great honor. Then make me happy. When I am happy, I sing like a night in gale in springtime. I love your outfit. I do too. Can I talk you out of it? <laughs> These cramps are killing me. It's unconventional, certainly, but that's what makes it so compelling. It's not compelling, it's just bad. Well, what do you know about music anyway? Maybe it's just too sophisticated for my taste. Personally, I like music that has a melody. How passe. Anyone can sing a melody, but it takes a true artist to defy a melody, especially with such passion and... This club is super groovy, you don't you think so? Somewhere else. Oh.
wonder where my boyfriend is. He asked me to meet him here. Would you care for a light? Thanks, but I don't smoke. You're holding a cigarette. Am I? Well, what do you know? I guess old habits die hard. Say, can I borrow a dime? I want to call my mom and tell her I just met the girl of my dreams. I gave my last dime to a worthwhile charity. Ouch. I wasn't expecting a woman. You weren't briefed. They just said meet Agent Archer at 8 p.m. Well, I'm Agent Archer. So I gathered. Didn't the code phrase tip you off? I thought it was a little unusual, but I figured, hey, it's Europe. Things are different over here. Scotch and soda. Will you have a drink? Old Granddad, bring the bottle, a tumbler, and a bowl of ice. Goodness, are you celebrating? Compensating, actually. How sad for you. So tell me, Ms. Archer. Oh, now don't start with that. What? There's no need to patronize me. Was I patronizing you? Yes, you were. Well, I'm sorry, but I didn't realize I was going to have to babysit on this assignment. I may be a woman, but that doesn't mean I can't take care of myself. Oh, I get it. You're one of those women's libbers. Dress up in men's clothing, ride motorcycles, smoke cigars, that kind of thing. Just because I can take care of myself doesn't mean I'm not a woman. They're not mutually exclusive, you know. But isn't the point of women's liberation to allow young ladies like yourself to become men? The point is to allow young ladies to become whatever they please. Ouch. Well, if you're as deadly with a pistol as you are with your tongue, you can watch both our backs. All right, I will. So what's the plan? Well, the first thing is to find out who the goon is. Excuse me? You're being watched. If you can lure him someplace quiet, I'll jump him and find out what he's after. That's very noble of you, but I think I can handle that little fella. Suit yourself. Where should I ambush him? Try the ladies' room. What? You think he'll follow me into the loo? Heck yeah, look at him. He's concentrating so hard on not being noticed, he'd probably follow you into heavy traffic without a second thought. Anyway, you'll certainly be justified interrogating him, won't you? I'd be justified in doing worse than that. Just make sure you question him first. I'll be waiting by the stage. Be wary of the operetta. It's a bit enthusiastic. I can take it. Ow!
looking for someone? Just keep your head down till this is over. What's going on? hearing things.
was ambushed before I could question the bastard. You okay? I suppose, although I think someone might have tried to drug me. Something stung the back of my neck as I was heading for the ladies' room. Might have been a dart. How do you feel now? Not bad. Meet me at this address in one hour. Why not go together? I want to poke around and see who these people are. They may be linked to harm. Are you sure it's safe? Hell no. It's reckless and dumb, but that's not going to stop me. Well, good luck then. What should I do if you don't make it? Don't worry, doll. I'll make it. If you say so. Head backstage. A friend of mine's waiting in the alley. He'll get you out of here. Just tell him you're with me. You think he'll believe me? He will if you tell him my code name. I don't know your code name. Bold Eagle. <laughs> Good God. What's so funny? Nothing. See you later, Bold Eagle. Not if I see you first. Okay. I guess I'll have to improvise. What's in all those cakes, anyway? Beer. We supply Harm's entire staff with the finest Deutsch brews. Really? That must be a lot of beer. Indeed. Our studies show that criminals drink three times as much alcohol as law-abiding citizens. So beer turns people into criminals? The correlation doesn't imply causality. Just because criminals drink a lot of beer doesn't mean that beer causes crime. It's possible that people with criminal tendencies enjoy beer because it helps to soothe their conscience. Or perhaps criminal behavior is caused in part by a genetic predisposition that also, coincidentally, makes criminals like the taste of beer more than the average person. Who knows? Are they knowledgeable about these things? Criminal sociology is a hobby of mine. I think it's important to understand not just the individual psychological roots of one's behavior, but also the social circumstances that foster that behavior. Whether we like it or not, we are shaped by our environment. 
surely you're not suggesting that individuals aren't accountable for their actions. Oh, no, of course not. Just because we are products of the societies we're born into doesn't absorb us of personal responsibility. Our religions and laws teach us what is right and what is wrong. Frequently, the right choice is the more difficult path to take. It requires sacrifice, self-discipline, patience, virtues that many of us find somewhat lacking in our natures. But what if you're born into a hedonistic culture? Look across history. The reason hedonism is discouraged by most religions and governments is that it weakens our civilization. It breeds sloth, petulance, degeneracy, and selfishness. A divided nation is a fragile nation waiting to be conquered. Unity is strength. Humans instinctively fashion order out of chaos. It is a natural, probably genetic impulse. Therefore, even an individual born into troubled times has the capacity, and even the duty, to behave in a manner that promotes unity, however difficult it may be. And what about us? I can only speak for myself. I am a product of a broken household, which introduced a general lack of self-confidence in me at a very early age. These feelings of inadequacy and loss of anger, as I am sure, that the rigors of adolescence and teasing and abuse and awkwardness we must all endure only exacerbate. But even though I've identified the source of my problems, I'm still too childish and petty to become a responsible, mature citizen. Well, admitting you have a problem is the first step, I suppose. I like to think so. Oh, I will crush you! 